my name is Sean Humphreys, and today I'm going to guide you through the process of learning how to read different rhythmic patterns. This video is aimed at those wishing to learn the note length names, how to read them, and how to read and perform different rhythmic patterns. We're going to cover just four different rhythmic values to start off with. The note lengths will be notes that last for four beats, two beats, one beat, and a half a beat. The easiest way to think of a beat is to think of a regular consistent pattern, like your heartbeat, or the second hand on a clock. That regular beat provides a pulse that you're able to follow. This will be quite important to help you keep in time so that your rhythms and your rhythmic reading is accurate and will also fit with other people when you're playing in a group. To make things simple and get some of the silly words out of the way, there are a number of different parts to the notes when you draw them. The first part is called the note head, and that is the circle bit that's either left empty, like this, or is coloured in, like this. There is also a line that goes up from the right hand side of the note head, and this is called a stem. Sometimes there is another part to a note called a beam or a flag, and this will be explained when we talk about quavers. A four beat note is called a semi brief or a whole note, and is shown simply as a circle. A two beat note is called a minim or a half note, and this is shown as a circle with a stem going up the right hand side of that circle. A one beat note is called a crotchet, or a quarter note, and this is shown as a circle that is all coloured in, with a stem going up on the right hand side of that note. A half beat note is called a quaver, or an eighth note, and they last for half a beat each. They have a note head that's coloured in, a stem that goes up on the right hand side of the circle, and if they are drawn on their own, they have a flag attached to the stem. This wavy line is referred to as a flag. If there is more than one quaver next to each other, the notes are joined together by a line, and this line is called a beam. Quavers or eighth notes will usually, at the moment, be beamed together in groups of two or four. However, please do remember that this will not always be true, and this is just for now to keep things straightforward. Putting different note lengths together is now where all of this theory will start to make sense as it will have a musical purpose. Look at this rhythm pattern. What do you notice? You should, hopefully, see four crotchets or quarter notes, one after the other. This would sound like this if you clap the rhythm. Fairly straightforward. You try. Now listen first to the rhythm that I clap and then copy it back. Okay, now let's mix things up a little bit. The minim, or half note, lasts for two beats. So in order to clap this rhythm, we need to do this. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So this will mean that you'll actually count two for just the one clap. So when you're clapping two minims, which look like this, you would actually perform it like this. One, two, one, two. Have a look at this next rhythm. We have a minim and two crotchets. Have a think, what would, that, what would that sound like? What would you need to do? Have a look at the rhythmic pattern and follow this as I clap it to you. One, two, one, one. Is that what you thought would happen? You try it now. First listen to and read the pattern as I clap it and then try to clap it yourself. Here we go. One, two, one, one. 
Did that go as you expected? If you want to try it again, or clap at the same time as me, you can rewind or pause the video. Now try this rhythm. We have two crotchets, followed by a minim. Or if you prefer, you could say two quarter notes, followed by a half note. Okay, so have a listen. One, 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 two. Now you try. Ready? This rhythm shows a crotchet followed by a minim, and then a crotchet. Or if you prefer, you could say a quarter note followed by a half note, and then a quarter note. And that would sound like this. One, one, two, one. Have a go at that yourself. Here we go. Two, three, go. One, one, two, one. Now let's have a look at quavers or eighth notes. A quaver, as we've said already, lasts for half a beat. This means that in the same space as a crotchet or quarter note, there will be two quavers or eighth notes. This means that the beat is divided equally in half. A group of eight quavers would sound and look like this. One and one and one and one and. If we had the following rhythm of four quavers followed by two crotchets, or four eighth notes followed by two quarter notes, it would sound like this. One and one and one, one. We can mix up the patterns even more and you can use them in any order that you like. For example, if we had a crotchet, two quavers, crotchet and then two quavers. If you prefer, you can think of this as a quarter note followed by two eighth notes, a quarter note followed by two eighth notes. It would sound like this. One, one and one, one and. To actually make this easier to do, you might choose to add words to different note values. For example, when you have a semi-brief or a whole note, you could think of the word soup. A minim or half note, you could think of the word cheese. A crotchet or a quarter note, you would probably think of as the word tea. And then two quavers next to each other, or two eighth notes next to each other, you could think of the word coffee. So the rhythm of two crotchets followed by four quavers could be thought of as tea, tea, coffee, coffee. You try that. One, two, three, go. Tea, tea, coffee, coffee. The rhythm of two quavers followed by a crotchet could be thought of as coffee, tea, coffee, tea. Like this. Coffee, tea, coffee, tea. You have a go at that. So there we go, a guide to reading simple rhythms. This is of course only the start of the journey. For more information or to extend your knowledge and understanding further, look out for my next video on reading pitch and also using the treble clef. You can also visit www.seanhumphreys.co.uk forward slash resources for a wealth of free information. If you want to work on music theory grades, check out my brand new theory course called Undreary Theory, available at www.undrearytheory.co.uk or you can simply visit amazon.co.uk to order your copy now. Thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed this video.